Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy at home at the moment. My name is Erica Ancien from Strength in the City and we've teamed up with FOH to bring you a nice little at home workout that you can do while we don't have access to the gyms just yet. So what you'll need is really just a mat and some water. If you have some small weights, feel free to add them in and incorporate them into the workout. Um, now, while I am a personal trainer and a yoga instructor now, I didn't always used to be. I used to be in hospitality as well, so I am well aware of the aches and pains that we can get in the lower back, in our feet, and in our wrists. So I'll definitely be walking you through a warm-up and a cool-down prior to and after the workout. So the workout itself is going to be eight different exercises, and we're going to work for 45 seconds, rest for 15. So I'll be with you for the first round just so you can get an idea of form and make sure that you're doing everything the way that it is safe and, and proper. And then if you want to rerun this tape and do it a couple more times, please do. But I'll be here for the first round so you guys can just kind of join in right here and right now. Um, Alright, so what we'll do is we're just going to come to the mat and get the legs out nice and wide. Reach the hands all the way up and let's start into our warm up. Exhale, fold all the way down to the floor and just be nice and heavy with that head. Let it hang for a little bit and just get right up into those hamstrings and breathe out. Good, roll the spine as you come up to a stand again. We're gonna do it twice more. So reach the arms all the way up, big inhale. Exhale, fold, come on down to the floor. And drop the head. If it feels good, you can grab onto opposite elbows here and drop even further down into the floor. And then round the spine. Come up nice and slow. Last time, inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, fall down to the floor. This time, I want you to see if you can grab onto the ankles or the calves and fold a little bit further. See if you can use that leverage. Drop down, then bring the hands to the mat and walk them over to your left side. Take the left hand up and twist. Good, bring it back down. Let's walk over to the right. Take the right hand up and twist. One more time each side. Walk it over, left arm up, and bring it down, right arm up. Good, nice job. Let that head roll all the way back up. We'll bring it back up to a stand and just put the hands at the hips for a moment. We're gonna get right into those hips and take some big circles around to the right. So this is one and two. Oh, some creaks and cracks in my hips. I don't know about you guys. And this is three, let's reverse direction. So back the other way. So really nice to warm up those hips before you do anything plyometric. Now there will be some jumping involved and things like that, I'll give you options. But especially if you're gonna do anything with the hips, definitely warm them up first. So let's bring those legs in a little bit closer and we're gonna shift the weight into our left leg, take the right knee up and go ahead and just take some circles backwards. Three, two, and one. And reverse directions, come on forwards. Three, two, and one. Nice job, switch legs. So left leg lifts, three, two, and one, and then switch directions, three, two, and one, nice job. We're gonna take those hands off the hips and go ahead and start to cross them left over right, right over left. So really opening through the chest, getting really big here for three, for two, and for one, nice job. Take that left arm, cross it over and hold it here for a moment and just breathe into that whole left side of the shoulder. Exhale, let it go, switch sides, other hand comes across, breathe it in, and exhale, nice work. Legs come together a little bit closer, reach the hands all the way up. We're gonna take a side body lean. Lean, so take the left elbow, oh sorry, wrist, and lean over to the right. So we're just opening up through that rib cage, breathe into that left side, and then exhale back to center. Grab hold of the right wrist. Same thing on this side. So you're getting really tall, but also leaning over to the side. Good, bring it back up to center. All right, let the hands drop. And we're gonna take a walk out and come to a plank and then walk it back. So at the back of your mat, we'll start off, bend the knees and just start to walk it forward, gently coming into a plank. 
and then gently walking it back. We've got three of these, so roll up nice and slow, bring it back down, gently walking into a plank and bending the knees, coming back up. Good, so we're still taking our time to warm up all the way down to a plank and all the way back up. Good, roll it up nice and slow. Step the right foot forward and the back leg back. We're gonna reach those arms up. Now straight away, some of you might feel this in the left hip. That hip flexor is opening up, which is great. That's what we want. And we're gonna step it together, take the right foot back and reach the hands up. So we'll feel the same in the right leg, hopefully. If not, maybe deepen that bend in the front knee. Come on back up. One more each side. Get into that lunge, reach the hands up and then step it together, last one, reach the hands up, nice job. Good, and then come on back to a stand. We're gonna straighten through the right leg, and the left leg's gonna be just about a foot behind you, knee is bent. We're gonna reach down, try and touch the floor. This is really great for the hamstrings. I love to do this, especially before a run, or anything that's gonna be really impacting those hamstrings. So you're reaching up, getting really tall and extended as you come up to a stand, and then keeping the back nice and flat as you come all the way down. So this is three. We've got two more, so five each side. Come up to a stand. And last one. Beautiful, go ahead and switch sides. So left heel forward, reach it down. And really take your time in those spots that seem a little bit harder. I'm moving at a certain pace, but you can take it slower. Just move with what works for your body. Good, and last one, reach all the way down. And come on back up. All right, so we're ready to rock and dive into our workout. So the first exercise, super simple. We're just gonna go for a jog. So give me a regular jog. We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Just a regular jog. Now relax through the shoulders. So the biggest thing that I see a lot of is people start jogging and those shoulders start creeping up. So roll them down, just chill out. Relax here. Now, if you want a little more and you're ready to rock, pull those knees up a little higher. Make this into a high knee jog. If you're happy right here, cool, hang out here. Otherwise, if you want something a little lower, you just march it out. There's no impact here on the knees and you're just lifting and using those opposite arms. Don't forget about your core. Whichever option you're taking, start to pull that core in and work through the whole body. Breathe. Good, last two, last one. Not so bad, was it? You got 15 seconds rest, and we're gonna dive into the next one. So your next exercise is gonna be a pop squat. So down and back in, pretty simple. If that's too much for you, you stay right here, and you're doing a regular squat. Now, if you wanna take it up a notch, take it at a higher speed. So we're ready in three, two, and one. Let's go. So you're dropping the butt back as if you're going into a chair and popping right back up. If, if you wanna go faster, like I said, and you wanna take up that tempo, you're right here. Squeeze through the butt as you stand, drop it back down. Otherwise, stay here with me at this tempo or your regular squats coming all the way back. If you're just squatting, make sure that those knees don't go over the toes. So really important to keep form and alignment no matter what variation you're doing. And breathe. <sighs> nice job guys, stay with it. Last three, last two, and one. All right, 15 seconds. We're gonna come down to the floor. So we've got a plank here. So stack those shoulders right over the wrist, that's really important. If you wanna stay in plank, Feel free to stay in plank. Maybe you drop the knees if you need a little rest. Now, the other option, we're gonna take it up a notch, is gonna be a corkscrew plank. So we're gonna take that right foot, left hand, tap, bring it back. R uh, left foot, right hand, tap and bring it back. And we move through like that. So let's get rolling and go. Shoulders over the wrists. Remember, if you need to drop those knees, Stay here, you're welcome to pull that belly in and keep as strong and stable as you possibly can. Otherwise, we're here with the toe taps and breathing. Good, and then also making sure 
that that head isn't dropping. So you don't want the head down here with the chin in towards the chest. You want to keep one long line in your body. Good, guys. We've got about 15 seconds left. Go ahead and tap and tap. Breathe. Whew, it's getting hot in this bedroom. <laughs> Breathe through. Last three. Last two. And last one. Nice job. We're going to bring it back up to a stand. So take that 15 second rest. Grab some water if you need, but not too much. And we'll come into a single leg lunge, alternating legs. So we're going to come backwards with one leg, bring it back up to a lunge. Good. And you're going to take it nice and slow if you like, or you're going to speed it up. Or if that's not enough for you, you're going to add a jump to it, come back together. Add that jump, whew, come back together. Ready? And let's go. Lower down, come back up. Come back up. If you want to take it nice and slow, you take it slow. Don't worry about what level you're going at. Just worry about what feels right in your body, what feels good for you. So try to find out what that rhythm is. Try to find that good, long, good, steady pace, I should say. And if you want to take it up a notch, I'll show you again what that looks like. Jump it up, come back to the lunge and then switch, jump it up, come back to the lunge, switch. Good, you guys, you got 10 seconds left. Again, making sure that front knee isn't going over the toe. Drive with the back knee. Good. That's it, time, 15 seconds. Good job. And we're on to the next one. We did this in the warm up. we're gonna do it again. It's a crawl out. This time we're gonna add a push up, all right? So we're walk, walking it out, add a push up if you like, down, elbows staying nice and close, bend the knees and come back. Ready? And go. All right, so the modification for this, knees come to the floor and you take that push up and then you bring those knees back and walk it back. That's totally cool. If that's not enough for you, add on some push ups, make it four instead of two. Come on back. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees and walk it back. So pick what works for you and make sure you're breathing, especially when you're at the bottom of that push-up. Exhale, whew, all the way back up. So really important to use that breath to get you back up to the top. Five, four, three, two, and one, good, you got 15 second rest. I am sweating, I don't know about you guys at home. It's not just because it's hot in here. <laughs> All right, so our next one is we've got elbow, knee, tap. So we're here on the mat. Now this one might be a little difficult for some of you, so what I want you to do is a reverse tabletop where you just hold here. And this is a great, um, a great move for working your posterior chain. So if you're in that reverse tabletop, fantastic. Otherwise, we're working and we're bringing our right hand to our left toes. Ready? In three, two, and one. So the butt is lifted, right hand, left toes, and tap. Now this is really working through the core, so focus on the muscles that you're using. And I want you to really take your time. So notice I'm not swinging that leg all the way up. I'm taking my time. Little wobbles there too second workout of the day <laughs> and tap that toe. Just lift it up and tap the toe or maybe you don't quite touch the toe, that's fine. And you just bring it down. I'd rather control over swinging the leg up and then you may fall or lose your balance. So take your time here guys. You've only got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, good news. Sit the butt down, our back is on the mat for the next one. So lower down, and we're gonna bring our legs up. So hopefully, you can keep the heels right above the hips. If you need to bend the knees a little because your hammies are super tight, that's okay. Just do your best. Okay, so the legs are straight, and we're gonna come into a reverse crunch. So the heels are lifting up towards the ceiling. Now notice it's not a huge swing. It's not that, it's just here, Heels up, okay? Ready, three, two, and one. We're here for a minute. Oh, 
45 seconds, just kidding. <laughs> Here for 45 seconds, lifting up. Good, and if this isn't enough for you, you wanna take it up a notch, go ahead and add a twist. Bring it back down, twist, bring it back down. That's really gonna get the obliques involved as well. So breathe, exhale out, inhale down, exhale out, inhale down, and down, down, down. Good, otherwise you're right here. Relax the shoulders. So we have a tendency to also grip the mat too. I want you to just lift up, focus on those lower abdominals for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, rock it up. You guys are doing great. You've got one more exercise. All right, so it's gonna be, I know, no one loves burpees, but you have options, trust me. It's gonna be a burpee with a Superman. So a Superman is where you're on the floor and the hands come back. And the real purpose is to use that posterior chain, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. 45 seconds here, choose your option. And you don't have to jump up. Okay, you don't have to do that jump. You can just do a squat, walk it down, and step it back. No push-ups involved. You're gonna lower it down all the way to the mat, and then lift the legs and the arms off the floor. Press back up to a plank, and then walk it back. You can add that jump up here, walk it forward, lower all the way down, lift and walk it back. Ready, in three, two, and one. Let's go. So we're walking it, lower it down now. Those knees can come down first if you like. You lower down, squeeze and lift, and then knees come and you lift all the way back up. That's fine too. If you wanna take it up a notch, you're jumping up, bring it down. Lower, squeeze and lift. Press up to a plank, jump it up, lower, squeeze and lift, back up to plank, jump it back up. So stick with what works for you. You're here for about seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that's it. Woo! Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that's about all. I've got for you for the exercises. So we made it through all eight. Grab yourself a towel, towel off if you need to, grab some water really quick, and we'll cool it down. So it's super important to do that cool down as well as doing the warm up. All right, guys? So we'll start again with those legs super wide, just like we did at the beginning. Hands on the hips. Good. So keep those hands there. We're just gonna bend the right knee, send the butt backwards and sit into the right butt cheek, basically. We're finding a stretch on the inner left leg. Switch sides. <laughs> Breathe, exhale everything out. Good, go ahead and switch sides, maybe get a little bit deeper. Drop one hand to the floor for some support and take the right arm up and twist here. So this is a variation of what we did in the warm up. Good, hands back to the hip. Switch sides, drop the right hand to the floor. The left arm comes up and twists. Good, hand back to the hip. Both legs straight, fold forward. And take a really gigantic breath in through the ribs. Exhale, release. Good, grab hold of those ankles and drop down a little bit further. And go ahead and bring those heels together. Good, we're gonna stay here for a one breath. So really shift the weight into the toes and grab hold of the elbows again. See if you can keep the legs as straight as possible and get into those hamstrings for a breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, release. Good, round up through the spine. Come all the way up. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take your right leg, cross it over the left. So we did a lot of jumps. Maybe um, if you did the modifications, you still did the same work for the same muscles. So if you weren't jumping or if you were jumping, you were still using your glute muscles. So this is a great stretch to stretch out your booty cheek and really get all the way into that whole back body. 
and come all the way back up, we're gonna switch sides. So figure four on the other side, sit it down. And again, if you want something to hold on to, feel free to grab onto the wall and just keep that back nice and flat. Good, come all the way back up. I want you to take those hands and we're gonna press them away from us. So roll the shoulders down. This is a great one for opening up through the hands and the shoulders. Go deep breath in and then lift the arms all the way up overhead, exhale. Good, take those hands apart and reach behind the back. So it's gonna look like this, squeezing the shoulder blades together and dropping through that tailbone so that the butt doesn't stick out. Breathe in, squeeze the shoulder blades together as best you can, exhale. Good, nice job. All right, last one, we're gonna take it down to the floor, down dog. So this is a really great stretch for your hamstrings and for the calves as well. So we do this a lot in yoga, it's a really wonderful pose. See if you can get that chest back as far as possible. So the biggest thing that usually happens is this is what ends up being our down dog, more on the wrists than it needs to be. So send the hips back, 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 and send the heels to the floor. And breathe. Good, and then just come on forward, take it down to the knees. And we're gonna sweep those legs out from underneath and take a seat on your bum. Nice job, guys. I know I said last one, but I really do have one more, and that's gonna be a seated twist. So twists are really great for the spine, great for the lower back, so as much as you can, do a seated twist or a supine twist on the floor. So we're gonna take your left elbow, hook it around the right knee, and walk the right hand behind you. Sit it up nice and tall, and turn. Look over that right shoulder. Deep breath in, exhale, turn. Good, last one, come on back to center. Right elbow outside of left knee, and turn. Good, and then come on back to center. You guys have rocked it. Like I said, if you wanna rewind and do it twice or thrice, please do let us know how it went and give us any feedback as to how you enjoyed the video and hopefully we can bring you some more content soon. Stay safe, everyone.